In the last video, we used a default workflow to convert a Word document into a PDF. Now, it's time to understand what is happening behind the scenes, inside a workflow, so that you can create your own customized workflows. Instead of just clicking the Run button on the Convert to PDF workflow, click the Edit button. This allows us to take a look at how a workflow is constructed. Focus on the center with the three boxes stacked vertically. The first aspect of any workflow is input, this first box. Then, you have operations in the middle, and finally, output at the end. This is a simple workflow because there is merely one operation, converting a file into a PDF. Take a look at the left side of the screen and you will notice four categories. The first is input. The second and third, convert files and edit PDF files, are both the operations you can perform on your input. Lastly, there's output. To learn how to actually use the workflow editor, let's create our own new workflow. Before you can create your own workflow, you need an account on Easy PDF Cloud, which you can create from the home page. It's free and only requires an email address. Anyway, I currently have two PDFs that I want to merge into one document and then convert that document into Word so I can edit it. First, click the Done arrow to return to My Workflows. Next, click the new plus icon in the same area. Now we will create our workflow by selecting an input location, the two operations we wish to perform, and finally, an output location. We are already in the input files section, so simply drag and drop the easy PDF input box into the white space. Now, on the right side of the screen, you will see your input options appear. We're happy with the settings, so there's nothing we need to change. We've established our input, so let's merge our PDF files. Click Edit PDF Files, and then drag and drop Merge Files below the first box. On the right, we have settings we can change. For example, if we click this Merge Order area, we can decide if we want to order the documents as they were received from input or alphabetically. Let's order them from A to Z, so I'll just click here. Secondly, we could change the output file name here, but Merged is fine. It's time to convert the merged PDF into a Word document. Click on the Convert Files section, drag and drop Convert to Word under Merge Files, and although there are many adjustable settings, the default ones look fine. Lastly, determine output by clicking on the Output Files section. Now drag and drop the Easy PDF Output box to the end of our chain. The output folder looks good, so we're about done creating this workflow. It's time to rename our workflow. To do this, I go to the top where it says New Workflow and rename it to something more relevant. Let's say Merge and Convert to Word. Now I click Done and return to my main menu with my workflows. I will now add files I wish to merge and convert. I click the Input Files section of my new workflow. Then, on the right side, select Add New Files and can decide which files I wish to perform my new workflow on. I want to merge the Corporate Update and Research Update PDFs, so I click Corporate Update, hold the Control button, and click Research Update to select both files. Then I click Open. Now it's time to use my newly created workflow on those PDFs. I simply click Run. Wait a little bit, and it's done. Now I click on Output Files and can either download my output in a zip folder or just download the Word document. Just a few moments ago, these were two separate PDF files, but now they're together in one editable Word document. What if we realized that we only wanted the original PDFs to be merged into one document and then not convert it into Word. We could then either create a new workflow or edit the one we just made. Let's simply edit our new workflow by removing the Convert to Word operation. On our new workflow, click Edit. Now, click and drag the Convert to Word box to the right until a red X appears. Drop it, and just like that it's gone. We can rename our workflow to Just Merge. click done and we have our edited workflow 
After watching this video, you should now feel comfortable creating and editing workflows.